Hey everyone, this is Scar from Express, and today we are going to learn how to configure your SoundCloud into your WP1 slider to create a beautiful audio slider. So here we have a single slider and this is a carousel slider. So to configure this, we'll go to our backend and create a new slider. So we'll name this slider SoundCloud slider so in the slider type we will choose the audio slide and we will start to add the audio slider so when we click on the audio slider we uh, you will see audio title client ID and audio URL so we will go to our SoundCloud account and copy so I'm going to start a SoundCloud right now uh, let's select a random song and here I have the artist and I'm just going to copy this URL go back to my backend and paste it as the audio URL for the audio title I'm just going to name this Timmy So to get my SoundCloud ID, I'll go to my developers.soundcloud.com and you need to register a new app and the registration process can take up to one week. For now I'm just going to go to a previous app that I've already created and copy the client ID from here. So I'm just going to copy this, go back and paste it. So after I have done this, I'll add another slider and I'll just paste the client ID here to the get the audio URL. I just go and select a new a song and copy this. Okay. Okay. Select one of the songs and copy the song URL and go back and paste it and the audio title hundreds. Similarly, I'll add another slide. I'll just copy this client ID and paste it here. And the audio URL, I'm just going to select one of another song. Say Humble Pie. I'm going to copy the URL and paste it over here and keep my audio title so after we have done this let's say humble pie okay after we have done this we'll select our slider style let's say single layout and configure the box layout I'm just going to choose false Pazer if you want to give something I'll disable it and give an arrow let's say this one and let's let us publish this slider now so once we have published we we'll just copy this short code and we'll quickly create a new page I'll just name uh, okay I'll paste the your short code and name this audio slider let's remove this strike and just publish it So once I've published, I'll just check my front end. And here I have my audio slider. And you can see that the audio is playing. Sorry if there's no sound. Okay, once we have done this, we'll go back and change this into a carousel slider so we'll just go to slider style and go to carousel slider we'll just save the settings and we'll just check our carousel settings so here you can define the height width and all and choose a piece 
we'll just up quickly update it and check our front end. We'll refresh. And here is my carousel, carousel slider. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on WP1 slider. Thank you.